Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly update. And today's update is about security. All right, so a couple of things that you may want to take a look at. Uh, first thing first, obviously, there's a bunch of security stuff going on right now. So one thing is to set up two-step verification on Facebook. But then I figured I'd go a step further and show you how to set it up on your Gmail account too, whether you're using a custom Gmail account, just at gmail.com, or a kdb.com email as well, in case you haven't set that up. So first thing first on Facebook, since this is something that pretty much everyone has nowadays. <laughs> All right, on here what I want to do is log into our Facebook account, and we're going to click the drop-down arrow at the top up here. All right, so once we click on that drop-down arrow, we can then go down to Settings. All right, so once we go down to Settings, right above Logout, so we're going to click on the Settings option real quick. Perfect. And once we're under Settings, we're going to notice at the top left up here, it's going to say Security and Login. All right, so we're going to click on security and log in real quick. Now, this is where you can actually set up your two-step verification. So on here, you can actually go through and first thing first, you can actually see if there's anything recommended. So we recommend that you add an extra layer of security to make your account even more secure. Well, mine's currently on, so we're good to go. But then more importantly, you can actually see where you logged in. All right, so you can actually see how did you sign into this account. And you can even change your password if you want to. Now, if you're using the same password for multiple accounts, I may highly suggest against that, just to be safe. All right, but in this case, if you want to change your password, you're definitely more than welcome to. But if you notice, there's a section on here that says two-factor authentication. That's going to be their two-step verification at the end of the day. In this case, as you can see, use two-factor authentication. All right, we'll ask for a code if we notice an attempted login from an unrecognized device or browser. Now, this is not going to block you if you're utilizing your app on your phone or on your tablet. All right, that'll constantly keep you signed in. But if you delete all of your internet history, for instance, all right, well, then it's going to ask you for a code to sign back in. Or if you're signing in from a coffee shop, well, that's a different IP address. So it's going to ask you to sign in. All right, so in this case, if we click on this edit option, all right, you can actually go through and you can turn this on. So as you can see, I currently have mine turned on. And now I'm able to actually manage how I'm going to update this. So I can even set up where my phone will receive a text message or a call. I can set up an authentication app on here where I can actually receive a code that'll actually come over and I can go in through my phone directly on my Facebook app to actually get a code. Or I can have my own little recovery codes available on here too. All right, so there are a bunch of different options. The main prior, not priority one, but the main one that most people will typically utilize is the option to receive a text message, All right? That'll give you about a six digit code that you can use to sign in only if you're on an unrecognized device. All right, so I just wanna give you a heads up. That'll help out tremendously. So that's how you can set this up on Facebook. So remember, log into Facebook, click the drop down arrow, select settings, and then we're going into our security to add this in. Now, the other one is obviously, and there are multiple two-step verification options, but this is the other big one you might be utilizing. That's going to be under Google, all right, for your Gmail account. So we're going to go to google.com slash landing slash two-step for their two-step verification on here. Now, all you'll have to do once you come on here and you've signed into your Gmail account or your kdb.com email is click get started at the top right up here. Now, once we click on Get Started, as you can see, protect your account with two-step verification. Each time you sign into your Google account, you'll need your password and a verification code. All right, so this way, once we click on Get Started, all right, that'll allow us to then sign into our account. So I can sign in on here. So I'm actually going to sign in with my kdb.com email instead. Yeah, flip this around real quick. Hopefully, that's the password. It's not. There you go. Awesome. All right, and then I can put inside my phone number on here. All right, so I can actually say, all right, let's add inside the phone number on here. We can receive a text too. I can send this over as a text on here. There are more options. So I'll click that next button real quick. It's going to send over a code for me to use. So be on the lookout for that code to come over. All right, so if you're doing this along, it'll also pop up. This is going to be another six-digit code to use. So I'll put that in. And voila, it worked. Now I have two-step verification, so I can turn this on and I'm good to go. And that's it. So as you can see, now I have my phone number verified on here. I can even utilize backup codes if I want to. I can add inside Google prompts. I can do the authenticator app. I can add inside a backup phone on here too. There are a bunch of different options they'll have under the two-step verification section on here. 
All right, and that's all you'll need to do to actually set this up and you'll see when it was turned on so you can use it right away. All right, so it's that simple to actually set up two-step verification or two-step authentication for Facebook and for your Gmail account or your kitty.com email. So there you go. So that is your tech tip for the day.